storytellers how are you today and welcome back to another story time with Steffi we are going to get straight into it today and today's book is Incredible You now this one is written by Reese Brysenden and illustrated by Nathan Reed I really hope you enjoyed this week's story storytellers Ooh. Make sure you stick around until the end of the story because I have some fantastic artwork that was sent in on our Instagram and Facebook pages. How exciting! So stick around to see if your artwork is on our video this week. Enjoy the story, storytellers. Incredible You, written by Reese Brysenden, illustrated by Nathan Reed. Now and again, and I do this too, you might want to be someone other than you. Perhaps at the end of a very bad day, you might wish you were a bird and could just fly away. Or maybe you think being a dog looks like fun. You could chase squirrels up trees or dig holes in the sun. And if you ever felt angry, you could just shout in the park. Because if you were a dog, it would just sound like... A bark. Perhaps you'd rather be a cat. After all, if sometimes you like to curl up in a ball, you get behind the ear scratches and rubs on your belly while you lay on the sofa and watch cartoons on telly. Now, the remarkable thing about being a fish is that you get to eat all the seaweed you wish. And while you might never have given seaweed a try, to a fish it's delicious, like blueberry pie. Or, oh, what about animals that live in the zoo? There must be an animal there that suits you. Tigers are fierce, giraffes are so tall, and elephants are the biggest of all. A panda, perhaps, a mountain gorilla, a short-tailed or long-tailed fluffy chinchilla, a hippo, a lizard, a lion, ah! I know, you must want to have the strength of a rhino. Now, I know what you're thinking. That all sounds pretty good. And you'd still like to be someone else if you could. But you're truly amazing. Think of the things you can do. Perhaps you'll realise if I name just a few. You can do funny voices that make people giggle. You can write a kind note, then sign your name with a squiggle. You can make up a story or read from a book. You can smell, you can taste, you can listen and look. You can draw with your hands and score a goal with your feet. You can dance to the rhythm or invent a new beat. You can put things together using all the right tools and follow the instructions or make up your own rules. You can sing. If anyone says you can't, they are wrong. You just keep singing your own special song. And I bet you can touch your nose with your toes. And if not, don't worry. At least now you know. You can sleep. Just let yourself drift away and dream of the things you hope will happen one day. And when you wake up, you can make them come true. I'm not joking. You can. And yes, I mean you. You're fab and fantastic. You're one of a kind. You're unique and amazing. Always bear that in mind. So there's only one thing that I'd like you to do, and that's never stop wanting to be incredible you. And there we have it, my storytellers. That was our story this week, Incredible You, written by Reese Brysenden and illustrated by Nathan Reed. Now, we do have some questions for you this week to celebrate you being an incredible you. Stick around afterwards because that is when I'll reveal the pictures that have been sent in from our Facebook and Instagram pages. Here we go. Here's question number one. In the story, you can put things together using all the right tools or make up your own... Is it A, rules, B, story, C, artwork? Shout out your answer now. Amazing storytellers. The answer is A, rules. Question number two. In the story, what animal is described as being so tall? Is it A, a tiger, B, a giraffe, or C, a rhino? Shout out your answer now. 
That's right, storytellers. The answer is B, a giraffe. Amazing work with those questions, storytellers. You're doing absolutely fantastic. Now, it's time for the part that everybody's been waiting for. It is time to reveal our pictures this week. Now, we at Storytime with Steffi have been inundated with pictures. We've had lots and lots of pictures this week sent in to us. So we have got two. And here they are. Now this first picture has been sent in by a lovely little girl called Lexi and I absolutely love it. It's so creative and colourful and I make a little appearance there in the left hand corner. Here is our second picture by a very amazing artist called Henry. It's absolutely fantastic, again really colourful and it's got the rainbow colours in it because I was told by Mammy that Mammy loves rainbows and that is why Henry added them into his picture. So well done to Henry and to Lexi. And that's all the time we've got this week, storytellers. Now, my challenge for you this week is to tell a story. Tell a story to anyone who will listen. You can use books or tell your own stories. It's so important at a time like this, just reading books and telling loads and loads of stories. And I know you all love doing that. So that is your challenge this week. I look forward to hearing all about it. All right, I'll see you next week, storytellers. Bye. Bye.